Hello and welcome to the video. This week it's Valentine's Day so we are going to be showing you some exercises you can do with a partner to work on your flexibility. The most important thing about doing stretches with a partner is that you communicate so you have to constantly talk to your partner to make sure you both understand if you feel okay, if you're holding each other properly, if you're stretching and it's too sore. Take your time and make sure you understand that before you force yourself into any of the stretches, particularly if you've never done that stretch before. So take it slow, talk to each other and let's have a go. We're going to start with a standing straddle pole. So with your feet in straddle position, we're going to put our hands on each other's shoulders and then gently press down into the stretch. So hands on shoulders and then hips back and then Gently press down and you can lean heavier or lighter depending on what your partner wants. Do you feel okay? Yep. And then try and relax down into the stretch. So you should be feeling this in the back of your legs and in your shoulders and your upper back. Do you still feel okay? Yep. <laughs> Less okay than before. Yeah. Okay, slowly back out, and then we're going to do the same thing but with our feet together. So a pike this time, so feet together, and then hands on shoulders again, and then slowly folding at the hips down into the stretch, gently pressing down on your partner's shoulders to open them out. Do you feel okay? That's what we do. Okay. Try and breathe and relax. So make sure you're not pushing too hard on your partner. And then slowly back up. Good job. We're going to focus um, on stretching the shoulders the opposite way now. So with the hands like this, we're going to fold over and your partner can gently help you fold a bit further. So you can stretch me first. Okay, so I'm going to stand in straddle for balance and then I'm going to fold over like I did before but this time my arms are the other way. And then you have to be so, so gentle and make sure you stop whenever your partner tells you to. So we're trying to open up the shoulders, trying to get down towards the floor. You okay? Yeah. Feel like doing that one. Terrible. Okay. Well, go really, really slow. Can you get your arms over your head? Okay. Are you all right there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm just maybe gonna take you like a couple of centimeters further. Do you feel okay? Yeah. Yeah. Am I near the floor? Um, not quite. Maybe next week. You still feeling okay? <laughs> Pretty tight. Yeah. I'm not actually pushing, you're just pulling them by yourself. That's going further, you still okay? Yeah. Yeah, you've dropped loads. You want to come back up? Give us a lovely hug. Nicely done. Oh. <laughs> I think we'll do that one again and see if we've got any more range of motion than to the first time. So we'll see if I can go a bit further. Better than the first yeah, time? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good job. Keep trying to. Are you okay there? Yeah. Keep trying to breathe and relax. Good. Good. Not 
to come back up? Yes. Nicely done. Good. We're going to move down onto the floor for the next stretches. So we're going to do a seated straddle fold this time, similar to what we did standing up, but this time I've got my feet on the inside of my partner's legs, so I'm able to very gently push the legs a little bit wider and stop whenever they say it's enough. And then again, we're going to have our hands on the shoulders to gently push the shoulders towards the floor. So if you stretch up and reach for my shoulders. So John's being stretched first and I'm gently pressing his shoulders down and his legs out. Are you okay there? Mm -hmm. Keep going. You keep going a bit more. Like that. Keep going. Tell me about your toes. Are you alright? going to switch so John's going to put his feet on the inside of my ankles this time. Oh, all right. You can go a little bit wider if you want. Push, 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 that's it. Okay and then you're going to push my shoulders back. I want you to take it easy, slow. <laughs> slow. So this kind of forces your back to stay straight so you'll feel it more than if you were rounding your back and just reaching down. So I'm trying to keep really straight from my hips to my hands. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Let's just take a deep breath. I'm assuming that's for behind the foot. Yeah. 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 Wow, this is quite good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Try a pipe stretch this time. So, if you want to sit in pipe, can you turn around that way? Yeah, right, right. Let me sit on this mat here. There you go. So, you're going to stretch up nice and tall. Okay, arms straight, can you turn your hands out? So, if your fingers are turned out, it keeps your elbows a bit straighter. And then I'm very gently just going to press open your shoulders. Do you feel that? Yep. Are you okay there? Yep. Yeah, so we're trying to stretch really, really tall. Good. And then point your feet. Lovely. Keep breathing. Are you feeling that? Uh, definitely. Yeah. So depending on how tight your shoulders and your back are, you might just feel it by sitting here. Do you feel it in your legs at all? Mm, no, I feel it more. So just the shoulders. Mind. Okay. And relax for a second. And then we're going to do the same thing, but I'm gently going to fold John forwards into the pipe. So I'm going to try and keep his back in that slightly arched position as he folds over. So you make sure you tell me when so I don't hurt you. Look at the point of fingers going on. <laughs> you can keep your fingers together, huh? There you go. All right. You okay there? Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel it in your legs yet? Yeah. All right. Do you want more than that? No, that's good. Okay. So I haven't folded him very far because of the shape of his back. It forces the hamstrings to stretch. And again, the open shoulders, you alright? Mm -hmm. Relax. And then we're going to do one more. This time I am going to allow his back to arch and I'm just going to gently help him fold into his pipe position. Okay, are you ready? So arms up. This time I'm just going to help him. Can you tell me when? So just applying a little bit of pressure to help him get deeper in the stretch. Okay, okay. point your feet. There you go. Are you alright? Mm -hmm. So it's good sometimes just to have a bit of help getting a bit further into the stretch than what you could if you were doing it on your own. Are you alright still? Mm -hmm. Do you want any more? Yeah. Yeah. Is that okay? More. More? I'm going to have my full weight on you soon. <laughs> Are you okay? Well done. So we're going to switch over and do those three stretches again now. Okay, so the first one is to open up the shoulders. So sitting nice and tall and the arms extended. And then you can gently press to just open the edge a bit. Okay. 
and then this time we're going to start folding into the pike shape a little bit trying to keep that slight arch happening in our back And then the last one is the pike fold on its own and if you need to round your back for this one you can do. Go slow, gentle. Final partner stretches we're going to do today is for the back and shoulders. So I'm going to be lying face down and then my arms are going to be folded like this. My partner is going to hold on to my biceps and triceps and gently lift me off the floor just to give my upper back a stretch. And then we're going to do the same idea, but this time with my arms out straight. Make sure that you tell your partner when you're feeling the stretch and you don't stretch too far because obviously your back is quite delicate and take it nice and slow. I have done this stretch quite a lot before, so I understand my limits, but if it's the first time you're doing it, you might only come off the floor very slightly and then you feel the stretch and that's where you need to stop for now. Thanks so much for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you've perhaps got a few new stretches to try out with a partner to help improve your flexibility. And we'll hopefully see you in the next video soon. I'll try not to yawn.